welcome in this video tutorial i'll be teaching you how to design a birthday happy birthday flyer just like you can see on the screen so and how to apply a shadow at the base of your design so that it will look beautiful right so these are some of the design i have done so you will like them all all right so let's start afresh by choosing a blank template okay uh, the first thing you do is to click on the plus sign you click on the plus sign then you click on from gallery from gallery then you select your image is that the position of your image you check download okay you check download this is my download all right so you have to import the picture this is the picture this is the picture you tick good okay so it took good and expand it now you turn your background to black background just click on the pane bucket and look for black the black background okay you took good all right the next step is to go back to the plus sign and click from gallery again to import some of the values it take good okay You go back again, import another value. You tick good, reduce the size. I'm going to here. I can remove this one, delete, delete, then duplicate. Click on copy, tap on the image and click on copy. So you duplicate, okay. Now you click on the plus sign again from gallery. You bring up the happy birthday. The reduce the size. Okay. Reduce the size. Then you can type more test. Click on test double click and say cheaper cheaper say done click on ok then you bring it down then you have to change you click on the alphabet A and select Font select font, you go to recent, you choose black, black freely. Okay, then you have to apply stroke. You click on the stroke, you enable the stroke. So you select the color of the stroke to be white okay now you go back to the test color you click on color and make it red okay so that is how to apply test using your pizza lab right so i can still go back 
to the plus sign from gallery to apply the one year anniversary celebration okay then you tick good you minimize the size you can bring it closer to this place how to reduce this when you are designing be mindful of the margin okay so that it doesn't cut while painting okay so now i'm done with the first design so you have to click on save as project you give it a name you can say birthday design or whatever you can just say ggg i click done okay so that is the name i give it so i will have to okay all right so now to apply the shadow you have to click tap on the three cycle then choose a blank page again and click on the plus sign same from gallery here you choose the pizza lab Pizza lab. Okay, so this design I've just made now. It take good. So here is the design. Now you click on the plus sign from gallery again. This time around, you look for the download. That is exactly where you can find the shadow. I think it's this one. Okay, this is that shadow. You click good. Okay. Now you bring the shadow. You can adjust it further to match the size of the design. Okay, so this is exactly how to place a shadow on your design using Pizza Lab.